David Menzies with Rebel News. Um, Mr. Polya, the liberals use both a carrot and a stick to control journalists in Canada. Which of these carrots and sticks would you keep as prime minister and which would you repeal? Thank you. We are going to repeal C-11, the censorship law, which allows CRTC bureaucrats to secretly manipulate social media algorithms to promote certain information, demote other information, and censor certain things altogether. This is a form of censorship that exists nowhere in the democratic world. Right now, Justin Trudeau is censoring those that, that he disagrees with and trying to buy off the rest. And that makes, that undermines confidence among Canadians in the news media. David Menzies for Rebel News here in sunny Winnipeg, Manitoba. And folks, I'm here at the Manitoba headquarters of Gardwine. That's a trucking logistics company. And that makes a fitting venue for a press conference that's about to be held here, given by Conservative leader Pierre Polyev. It's once again another press conference on axing the tax, as in the carbon tax. You know, that carbon tax is slated to reach 61 cents a litre, if you can imagine. The truckers are getting hammered. The farmers are getting hammered. And it's little wonder when millions of Canadians go to the supermarket these days, they are experiencing sticker shock when they purchase their groceries. Anyways, that is one of the campaign platforms for the Polyev Conservatives to get rid of this debilitating carbon tax. So we have been invited in to the press conference. Let's see uh, what Mr. Polyev has to say. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Manny, thanks very much for being here. I will ask the tax. Thank you. I like this guy. Give him a raise, please. Smart guy. Thanks for being part of this today. Appreciate it. We need all the common sense we can get because after eight years, Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost. Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost of 40-year highs in inflation. He doubled the national debt, printed $600 million of cash, flooded our economy with easy money, which ballooned the price of everything. He's now hitting people with a carbon tax that drives up the cost of gas, heat, and groceries. Now, we all know that Liberal MPs from Winnipeg betrayed their constituents and voted against a Conservative motion to give the same exemption on carbon taxes for home heat to Winnipeg residents that the Prime Minister gave to other Canadians. But they, those Winnipeg Liberals, voted against Winnipeg. They voted to raise your taxes. And as the temperature goes down and your home heating bill goes up, remember that your local Winnipeg Liberal MP voted to tax your home heat. When you walk outside and you shiver in this prairie cold, remember that Justin Trudeau and the NDP want to quadruple the carbon tax. They want to raise it up to 61 cents a litre, as well as raising taxes on your heat. Finally, this is a tax on food. These are trucks that require diesel. The carbon tax goes on that diesel. So everything transported in these trucks becomes more expensive because of the Trudeau tax on carbon and on diesel. And so when you see your grocery prices reach record highs, it's because Trudeau is taxing the farmer who made the food, the trucker who ships the food, and therefore all who buy the food. While people are desperate and struggling, we see them forced into homelessness, homeless encampments like we've never seen in our history are common now in our streets. Crime, chaos, drugs and disorder runs rampant and true as Trudeau allows repeat violent offenders to get same day bail and early parole. This is common sense and I'm hoping that 2024 will be the year of common sense. Now let's bring it home. Thank you so much. We'll now take five questions from the floor. Mr. Polyev, David Menzies with Rebel News. Um, Mr. Polyev, the Liberals use both a carrot and a stick to control journalists in Canada. The carrot is obviously 
government money, including massive payments to publishers and broadcasters, this corrupts their editorial independence. The stick is regulation, including censorship, banning reporters from press conferences, the CRA's journalism licensing regime, and the CT CRTC's new power to alter search engine algorithms. My question, sir, is this. Which of these carrots and sticks would you keep as prime minister, and which would you repeal? Thank you. We are going to repeal C-11, the censorship law, which allows CRTC bureaucrats to secretly manipulate social media algorithms to promote certain information, demote other information, and censor certain things altogether. This is a form of censorship that exists nowhere in the democratic world. Um, Margaret Atwood actually said that this was creeping totalitarianism. This is Margaret Atwood, She's not a conservative, obviously not a conservative, but she is an artist, a true artist, who believes that freedom of expression and freedom of the press is necessary. We're gonna stop arresting journalists. It's outrageous for the Prime Minister to have, and his government uh, to have journalists arrested for ask, merely for asking questions of ministers and uh, public officials. Uh, and we're going to make sure that the government uh, does not give to, use tax dollars to leverage news coverage in its favor. Right now, Justin Trudeau is censoring those that, that he disagrees with and trying to buy off the rest. And that makes that undermines confidence among Canadians in the news media. All right, let's see. Ooh, what are they? Happy New Year. <laughs> Great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Well, there you go, folks. That was a very interesting press conference, and uh, I really liked Mr. Polyev's answer to my question. When it comes to the two political parties, at least right now, the Liberals and the Conservatives, what a tale of two parties when it comes to media relations. When we go to a Liberal event, we are not allowed into their pressers. We are threatened with trespass. And you saw on Monday what happened. Uh, one of Trudeau's Royal Canadian Mounted Henchmen actually physically assaulted me and had me framed for an arrest regarding an assault that did not happen. Talk about transparency. Remember how Trudeau promised that in 2015? This Liberal government would be the most transparent in Canadian history. It has been anything but. And now we're getting invited in to uh, conservative press conferences. That, Mr. Trudeau, is true transparency when you reach out to both the mainstream media and the independent media. I know you don't like that, Trudeau, but as the saying goes these days, how do you like them apples? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, I know you love it when Rebel News tells you the other side of the story. You're sure not getting that from the mainstream media these days. So when we heard we could attend a conservative press conference, my cameraman Sid and I, we jumped on a plane and we got out to Winnipeg. But we need your help to cover our expenses. Could you please go to rebelfieldreports.com that's rebelfieldreports.com, and if you're able to, kindly make a donation.